no, kung paano daw po ang paglalagay ng verb kung ang subject ay demonstrative. So, please, kailangan ng agreement. Yung correct relationship between a subject and its verb, a pronoun and its noun referent, o yung pronoun and its pronoun referent. So, ang general rule natin, kung ang subject mo ay singular, kailangan mo maglagay ng singular verb. Kung plural naman ang iyong subject, dapat ay plural verb ang iyong verb. Okay? So, ang iyong subject, let's say, ay demonstrative, like the word that. Sabi sa rule, ang that o this, kailangan ng singular verb. Kaya, that is the thing, itong ating verb is, yan ay singular since ang ating demonstrative na ginamit ay that. That is the thing I have always wanted. Why has this happened? Ang ating subject dito ay this. Kaya, ang this ay singular. Meron tayong singular na verb. Pero, but parang ganito yan. This has happened. This ay singular demonstrative pronoun. Kapag naman, ang iyong demonstrative na ginamit ay this or those, kailangan ng plural verb. This were always in your cabinet. This ay plural demonstrative pronoun. Kaya ang gagamitin verb ay plural din. This were always in your cabinet. What are those for? Those are for. Tong those ay plural. Kaya ang verb natin ay plural na or. Okay? Pag ginamitan natin ng demonstrative pronoun ang ating sentence as subject, dapat ang that o this gagamitan ng singular verb. Kapag naman gagamitin mong subject na demonstrative pronoun ay this, okay naman ay those, ang lalagay mong verb ay plural verb. Okay? Thank you!